Hello everyone, I'm Ava Mares. And I'm Andrew Muzu. It has been two exciting seasons for Coach Duffy thus far, and her team is already adding some significant talent for next year. Within the NCAA, with the NCAA granting the extra year of eligibility for student athletes, Lauren Van Cloonen decided she will run it back one final year. And with the big news, we now shoot it over to John Layuzzi, who was with Van Cloonen to discuss her return. John? Thanks, Andrew. I'm now joined by Marquette women's basketball redshirt senior forward Lauren Van Cloonen. Lauren, thanks so much for taking the time tonight. How are you? Thank you. Um, I'm doing well. Thanks for letting me be here. Last Wednesday, you announced that you would be returning for a sixth season, taking advantage of the extra year of eligibility given by the NCAA. What ultimately led you to this decision, and did you feel like you had some unfinished business? Yeah, definitely. I think the biggest thing was, um, you know, uh, over the course of the year, I was definitely thinking about it, um, you know, being here for five years and just how special of a place Marquette University is. Um, I felt like, you know, I, I had a lot of unfinished business. Um, you know, uh, losing the championship in the Big East tournament and then obviously getting out pretty early in the NCAA tournament. I wanted to come back and, you know, finish off the, the legacy that I had at Marquette in a, in a different way. So I'm excited to come back for six year and, um, you know, really excited for the team that we got next year. For sure. You obviously have, you can see that passion that you have for Marquette men's basketball. You and I have talked extensively about your leadership on and off the court over the course of this past season. How do you hope to take that to the next level? Yeah, I think actually really what I'm focused on for this next year is, um, you know, understanding as a sixth year, not trying to do too much. Um, I think, you know, continuing to raise my game like you're talking about, but I think also a little bit of delegating um, to, you know, the younger class, the younger girls and, you know, understanding, you know, if they need help with anything with leadership wise, but I'm still going to be and try to be that consistent person that, you know, is bringing energy, bringing excitement and just having fun playing the game. You can certainly see that you're feeding and you're, 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 knowledge is feeding off and going into Cameron Taylor and Liza Carlin, a couple of your for fellow forwards. Next season will also be your third season with Coach Duffy. How do we, did your relationship with her play a factor into your decision as well? Um, yeah, I'd say 100% it did. Um, you know, just having her come, um, you know, I had three years under Coach Keeger and now three years under Coach Duffy. Um, it's been great. There wasn't a question of if I was going to go somewhere else or if I was going to go, you know, I think it was more so as whether I was staying or if I was going to go try and play professional. Um, and, and Coach Duffy was great throughout the process. Very understanding of, you know, it was kind of an entire year when the NCAA released it. But she was great. And, you know, I the fact that I even had a chance to come back, um, you know, Coach Duffy was willing to um, offer that up and offer it to me was big. And it shows the type of coach that she is. The fact that she wanted me back is is huge. So I'm, I'm very excited to continue to build my relationship her, with her and to see what we can do as, you know, a team as a, and as a coaching staff next year. That's awesome. And sticking with next year, the team will look a little bit different. Most notably, the departure of your partner in crime, Selena Lott, who has declared for the WNBA draft. What has your relationship with her meant to you over the last four years? It's been great. Um, I know, I think when Selena, um, came in as a, as a freshman and I was a red shirt uh, that well the year previously and then we just continue to grow with it. Um, I think it's been talked about before where we're different people, you know, and it was like, how can we work together in different ways? I think the one thing that me and Cell, you know, just um, were very common in was our competitiveness. And I think that kind of hit it off really, really quickly. And then we just continue to build our relationship. I mean, I'm really to her now. So it's been really, really great um, to continue to build a relationship. I can't wait to see what she does um, in the future, where she's going to be, whether it's in the WNBA draft or overseas. You know, and I think it's with us just a lifelong um, type of friendship that I, I honestly, I'll, I'll be honest with you, John, I don't necessarily think I would have saw when she first came in and when I first was here. Um, so it's been great to to um, continue to build that relationship on and off the court with the, with us. Yeah, for sure. Your relationship with Selena is certainly special. We've seen it off and on the court. Uh, so, Lauren, you know, you're going into next season. What are you looking forward to the most? I would say just just enjoying enjoying the fact that you know I get to I get the chance to to put on the Marquette jersey again. I even remember you asking me what you know this might be the last time, and I was like, "There's no way I can't do it." Um, so just having the opportunity to be able to wear the Marquette jersey, be able to be with my teammates, um, and just the excitement that Marquette women's basketball brings. I can't hear. Um, 
I'm I'm very very excited for that, and I'm excited to see you know where we can be. And uh, like you said, you know we're we're losing a, a big piece, but we're also gaining big pieces too. And I'm gonna continue to work hard, continue to bring you know, the young guys along in any way I can help. Um, very, very excited for next year. Lauren, thanks so much for taking the time today. Uh, well, looking forward to you coming back next season. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Back to you both in the studio. And to recap the women's tournament, we now bring back John Layuzzi. John, long time no see. <laughs> for sure, Andrew. We're going to start out with Marquette. They did not make it past the first round. But what is something that's positive that we can get from this tournament appearance? Real simple, just the experience of playing on the NCAA court. Yeah. This team is really young. They got that this year, and hopefully they can build on that next season. Yes, and they did have some solid leaders. But senior guard Selena Lott announced that she would not use her fifth year of eligibility mm -hmm. and that she declared for the, end, for the WNBA draft which is going to take place next Thursday. Do you think this was the right decision? I do think this was the right decision for Selena a lot. I talked to somebody from the WNBA today, and they said she's in the top 40 prospect top list. 40. So her, her stock in the wow. mock drafts are going up, and whoever does draft Selena a lot is going to get a very talented player. And you can, saw, you can just see the growth that she has made yeah. from, last, from her junior season down to her senior season. Co-defensive Big East Player of the Year as well. Yeah. Big, really big part of Marquette's offense, but it was a great decision for a lot. And we're all going to be excited to see where she lands. But looking into the next season, the team already has some nice mm -hmm. acquisitions. So which new addition should fans be most excited for? Let's hear it, John. I think that they're going to be excited for both, but I'm going to have to go with Carissa McLaughlin from, right. from Purdue. In her four seasons as a Boilermaker, she is the all-time leading three-point shooter Whew. for them. So that's something that Marquette lacked this year. Yeah. Getting her to be put into that offense is going to be big. A sniper right there, yeah. sharp shooter. Well, thank you again, John, for the insights. When we come back, we will be talking about the men's soccer team and their hot season and the women's volleyball Big East tourney run. GESR will be right back.